in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to find the intervals of increase, decrease, and constant. I'm also going to throw in domain and range. <laughs> All right, before I continue, pause the video and copy this down. Welcome back. As you can see, I basically labeled the quadrants on a coordinate plane, as well as what the signs would be for X and Y for every order pair in that quadrant. Also, too, this purple stuff that you see, those are the arrows. So if your arrow ends up in the first quadrant, since it's positive, positive, that means it would be positive infinity, comma, positive infinity when you label it. And as you can see in the second quadrant, if you have an arrow in the second quadrant, then that you'll label that arrow negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, and etc. Also, remember to find your domain, it will be the smallest x value to your largest x value. Your range will be your smallest y value to your largest y value. Okay. Let's look at the first example. Basically, what you're going to see me do is that I'm going to label all the order pairs from my arrows and every point in which it changes direction. And then I'm going to focus on my X values to see where it increases, decreases, or stays constant, and then find my domain and range. Let's look at this first example. You see this arrow right here? Since it's in the third quadrant, it's going to be negative infinity, comma, negative infinity. And this point right here, the order pair will be negative 4, comma 6. And the order pair for this point right here will be 2, comma 1. And this arrow, since it's in the first quadrant, it will be positive infinity, comma positive infinity. All right, you will always draw a roller coaster on the far left of the graph. And you can draw Miss Ophelia in it. <laughs> so when you push me, am I going to go up, down, or stay constant? I am definitely going to go up. So that means I'm increasing. And then once I get to this point right here at negative 4, 6, I'm going to decrease. And then I'm going to increase again. So when it says, what are the intervals of increase? Since I'm increasing here, I'm going to be going from negative infinity to negative 4. You always focus on the x values. Put parentheses next to your infinities, brackets next to your number. I'm also increasing right here. So that's going to go from 2 to infinity. All right, decreasing, as you can see. I am decreasing right here. So I'm only looking at the x values. That'll be at negative 4 to 2. And as you notice, I'm not constant anywhere on this graph. So I'll just say NA. Doesn't apply. To find my domain, I'm now going to look at all of my order pairs and choose the smallest x value out of all of the order pairs. That will be this one right here. Negative infinity. That's the smallest one. And my largest x value from all of my order pairs will be positive infinity. So my domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, to find my range, I'm going to be looking at the smallest y value of all my order pairs. And, th and that will be negative infinity down here. And the largest y value of all my order pairs will be positive infinity right here. So that will be my range. And that's it. 